Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today the market has been down for around 2.5% and I was thinking about what's my investment strategy in the what if the market crash or what if the market is still going up. So today I'm thinking about investing in S&P 500. Uh, the ticker symbol is SPY. I did some research about the ETF and uh, here are some reasons that I think ETF would be a good investment for now. If you guys are interested in SPY, please keep watching. So today's stock market drop probably because the increasing number of new coronavirus cases like higher rate of hospitality and newer cases in some southern states like Texas, Florida, and Arizona. And it brings the investor the panic of the second wave. And I also trying to look at MACD and RSA on the weekly chart to see that whether the assets are flowing or flow out the market. So from this uh, weekly chart, I can see that there's more uh, asset flowing. And for the RSI, the recent level is around uh, 49. So that doesn't show uh, overbought or oversold. So if the market continue to go down, there's still some space to go down. And I would not try to predict the trend of the market because there are so many external factors that me as an individual investor would not know. But um, there are some, some thoughts I, I want to bring out and share with you guys. So one of the thoughts is that even though there would be a market crash or re recession, the stock price will finally go up. I get this idea from the Berkshire Hathaway annual meeting. Warren Buffett has mentioned in the annual shareholder meeting of Berkshire Hathaway that in the past 100 years, the trend of the stock market in January is going up. No matter uh, whether we have encountered the previous pandemic like the Spanish flu or we encountered some uh, wars like uh, World War II that is very controversial and uh, have a bad impact to the economy and society. But no matter what situation, the stock market is still going up in the past 100 years. So at this point, I'm not, and Warren Buffett has also recommended individual investors to in invest in, in ETF, which has an average 10% yearly return compare a lot of mutual funds which cannot beat the ETF. So I would have the confidence to the SPY in terms of growth in the long term. And another reason is uh, two months ago, Ray Dalio has had an interview. He has explained his ideas about paradigm shift, which means the wealth shift has already happening silently from one part of the industry to another part. For example, maybe to the traditional uh, manufacturing industry to the current tech industry. So that's also the reason why the index is going up, even though the economy is looks not so good. So that makes me thinking about like the reason of SPY 500 is going up is because of the uh, big tech companies like FANG. But I'm also concerning the price level of these companies already very high and I don't want to buy at a high price even for those good companies. In that case, I think SPY may be one of the choice because it includes the best 500 companies in, in each industry so it can diversify the risk. At the same time, it can also uh, help me gain the return from those good companies even though I would not buy the individual stock just because the price is too high. So since the second wave of pandemic seems just appeared like two days ago, the daily added new case seems like more than 40,000, which is the most single day cases increasing so far. For that reason, I'm not sure how the market is gonna react to that. So I want to wait for one more week to see if the market drops like 10%. I would be happy to add some SPY in my portfolio just to diversify the risk as well as not missing out the growth opportunity of the good 
tech companies which I would not buy at the current price level. And the third reason I think SPY may be a good investment is because it's pay uh, around 2% dividend. Although the dividend is not the highest, as long as it's sustainable, it would be a good for dividend reinvestment. According to Warren Buffett's snowball effect, if all the dividend is getting reinvested, it's gonna get a compound interest effect and that would be benefit in the long term in like for like 60 years that would be make a huge difference yeah so that's all my uh, thoughts today i'm still learning the technical indicators from this book if you guys have any other recommended resources to learn the technical trading skills uh, please let me know although i'm focusing on the long term i think it will be always good to know whether the current is a good timing to buy so that's all my thoughts today. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye!